morning everybody it is monday morning it's 20 past seven i'm um, pretty late today but brand new project so this is a repeat customer for the ground surfaces i've done the pass here and the driveway before we're doing that again it was i think nearly two years ago now so they're getting very grubby again you will have seen them before on the channel very long time ago uh, they were really grubby beautiful indian sandstone though so it all come up amazing um, but we've also got the roof so it's cool doing a repeat custom and then getting an extra job added on top especially sort of a big job like a roof so it's quite a lot of roof area um you guys know all about the roofs now so gonna be a hard slog but it is a bungalow so that makes it a little bit easier less scaffolding building and stuff like that so elias isn't here today i'm on the way now to pick brad up so i'll grab him head to the unit and see you guys at the job so yeah enjoy folks all right folks we are here at the job nice and easy does anybody remember this this area here was really bad it's still nowhere near as black as it was when i did it the first time but the issue of all of this was the pointing was really bad and he's having this cleaned again this part is the worst that was so bad he's having this cleaned again but he wants to be really careful of this pointing so we're going to be doing like a probably a little wire brush i mean it's coming out just with the moss there so yeah not ideal um so we've got all the roof to do we've got this this is actually the worst part just the garage so that's going to be a, a very nice transformation isn't it um so we'll smash that out the hard part of the house is just here but again it's i say hard part look at these fences i should definitely give these a go shouldn't i yeah what do you guys reckon i might ask him about that um yeah it's just the access here is not ideal but scaffolding tower here no worries obviously you need to clear them gutters out as well it's quite, the back's not too bad at all i'm having brad start on the back i'm going to get the other van in a minute kev's coming to pick me up um this job's only around the corner from my house so anyone's that are close by good old kev comes and grabs me so i can go and get the other van because it's just me that drives at the moment isn't it um and here's the front obviously quite a lot of moss on that as you can see so yeah but again super easy to do to be honest that's a ground job isn't it really i don't even need scaffolding there i don't think so yeah all right cool happy days a little bit around the side that i'm going to start on as well but that's that they've had all this done this is all new here so you can see the difference so this is new patio that's old patio but it's the same well it's not the same stones but it's close enough uh yeah crazy difference so we're cleaning all of that up that'll all be tomorrow it might still be in this video though um i don't know we'll see how we get on today to be honest rightio let's get set up do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. All right, I might start on this one, you know, actually. Give the viewers a treat to begin. This is probably the worst bit, this is. Oh, no way. Taps right there. Does it work? It does. Oh, guys, it doesn't get any better than that, does it? Let's be honest. Only problem is with this bloody hose reel, I'll have to read it out all the way anyway. Kinks are crazy, yeah. Oh, you know, it's good water pressure when it fills up your hose straight away like that as well. That's just a joke, isn't it? All these kinks, man. Oh, it never ends. Oh, for God's sake. That's the last one. Hey, no. <laughs> Thanks for getting me. Oh, have you not? Here, you I guessed know. where I was anyway then. Um, yeah, I said to Dad, I was like, it's right by. I was like, we buzzed down here like years ago. Yeah. Into the same job. Have you? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's roof and yeah, roof. roof and patio and stuff now. I think I have a nice day. It was supposed to rain today. Seems like it. Yeah, it said it was raining until like twelve. But yeah. are you okay, my little dovey? Are you okay? Are you okay, my little dovey? Are you shy? You a bit shy. <laughs> you a bit shy. You are. I swear it. I swear it. Oh, back in the old girl. Don't get a chance to drive this one much anymore. This was this was my baby, this was. And then that trucker ripped her off. Nearly killed her. Right, let's go save Brad. I bet he's stressing, crying. 
screaming, where's Sid? I need help. Oh, window cleaner there, look, beep beep. Sid. Don't hit the pole, Sid. You survive without me. Do you guys want to see something really cool? You ready? Got a bit of a precarious position. Yeah, oh, there's a bit of a drop there as well. Health and safety, do not try this at home. However, I am the boss and I can do what I want. Right, this one, that one's done, other side's done. Brad's like about a third of the way over there, so I'm gonna blast this head around the front. Yeah, out in nature today, guys, look. Let's field around. Uh, I don't know where to put this camera, but if I whack it on the pole, let's try that. Can't see a thing guys, to be honest. It looks okay though, I think.
Okay, there we go. I bet that was a wild trip, wasn't it? Uh, I'm just gonna do a bit of clean up round here. I won't bother filming, she's gonna get smothered and then it's on to the main house. All right, so check this out. All black. So I'm hoping this is gonna go a nice pinky kind of color. Pinky, bluey, I don't know, let's go. Incredible. Looks amazing, doesn't it? I just I know it's a very dim day, so you guys can't actually see what's going on that well, but yeah, look at that, check that out. So I'll move along as far as I can get from the ground. Let's see how it goes. Maybe one, maybe two scaffolding movements to go uh, on this side anyway. I think Brad's nearly done around the other side, so it's nearly all done. We've just got a bit around there. Uh, what a difference, man. Look at that. That looks nuts, doesn't it? It really does. Not too much mess as well. The gutters flow quite nicely on these, so it just kind of all packs down there, which is nice. Right, so that's a bit. Okay, friends and family, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's day two. So uh, you guys might have caught that massive downpour on the time lapse yesterday. Uh, we got rained off, but to be honest, we were sort of finished with day one anyway. The roofs are all done, so Brad is away and biosiding already. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like nine, nine o'clock about. Um, so today's ground surface time, so I'm just gonna drink my tea and then I'll show you around. Okay, so as you saw yesterday, this, this is gonna look nuts. Um, these steps here, they're old. These don't need doing again, just a, a final rinse down. I might go over them quickly, but to be honest, sorry guys, it's really windy. I don't know how good the pointing is, so there's, you know, I can't, I don't really want to risk blasting that because they are brand new, so I'm just going to rinse that down. Very windy, guys, super windy. Um, close that. Close that one. Uh, this, again, this will come up amazing. Again, some po dodgy points in here, but it was the same as last time. There's not really much I can do about it. It just goes as low pressure as possible. Then we've got a run down here where I'm going to start. I've worked my way down there, and there is a bit around the front, but without further ado, I'll just get set up now, and we shall start cleaning. Let's go.
Mm, maybe I shouldn't have cleaned that. It showed up all them cracks, to be honest. It was so dirty, I didn't even see the cracks in it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I have done that or not? Obviously, a lot of these stuff I do. Um, a lot of the stuff that you see me clean on jobs, like when I'm doing walls and fences and stuff like that, it's just et extras that I just do while I'm there. Um, it's never really part of the quote. It's never usually discussed with the client, really. I just sort of go for it, you know, if I think it can do the clean. But sometimes, like that, I'm kind of like, hmm, should I, I have even bothered? Because it's kind of showed up the state that it's in now. I really seriously didn't even see them. I was just looking at the dirt and that was it. But yeah, it looks pretty, pretty old, doesn't it? Oh well, onto the patio. Right, check this out. I mean, I don't know what the hell's going on here, guys, to be honest. I mean, you look at all this and you think, oh, man, you're, you're blowing all the, the stuff out. Look at this. This is meant to be pointing, guys. Sand and cement. Look at that. Um, but you look at this. You know, gone. there's no holes. But somebody has, has repointed over the original pointing. This stuff, which is rock solid, right? Hard as nails, that's not going anywhere. And someone's put this stuff in. Which is, look at this. Look at that. It's a different colour. I mean, let me give you an example of what I haven't cleaned yet, but it's just with crumbles, look. It's completely loose. I can scratch it out with my nail, but look, here's another example. There's a bit of moss on top of that. I can lift that up, look. But underneath is the solid pointing, which was fine. So I don't know what's happened there. And it's it's a different colour as well. So instead of it, it kind of gone over it and made it all dirty looking instead of keeping it pink. So, look, I can literally just crumble it into sand. Absolutely terrible. I mean, I'm not gonna flame too much just in case it was a DIY job by the homeowner, but if a company has came in and done this, um, look, I might as well just take it all out. Crumbles. Yeah, if a company has charged them for this, I'm gonna have to find out. Uh, that's the absolute daylight robbery, look. Absolute robbery, it didn't even need to be done. Don't get me wrong, there's some parts down the bottom there that really needed to be done. Um, big holes in there, it's where the moss has come through. Oh my God, look. Perfectly fine pointing underneath. What was the point? Um, yeah, some bits really needed to be done. I remember from the last clean, it was just in a really bad state. Weeds and moss had pushed through. I don't even think that's been done down there. But for some reason, this has been done up here, which is perfectly fine. Doesn't need anything doing to it. I mean, guys, like, I can hit that with a hammer or a screwdriver and that ain't coming out. It's like really solid stuff. The original original stuff, you know? So yeah, God knows, because it made it just look messy. Like, do you know what I mean? Look at this. You've got a lovely in pink and then you've got this beige slab going across it just looks terrible doesn't it i mean i could i mean i could i'll say i could turbo out i could bloody just pull it out couldn't i but i'll have to have a word with the customer i mean if they've done it themselves I ain't, <laughs> i'm not gonna flame it um you know fair play for, for giving it a shot but if a company is charged for that it's madness i mean here that's where it needed to be done but you can't put yeah this right you cannot put that on top of that it won't bond to it, There's, it's just a thin layer, it's going to do absolutely nothing. You need to grind all of that out, yeah, get all of it out so it's just the bare sub-base below, then put your joint in compound in, not put it over the top of existing compound, that's just a bit madness. I mean, maybe it was a cheap job for a cheap fix, but they've put it in places where it's not even bloody needed. Ugh. Anyway, right, let's carry on.
Okay then guys, job complete. I'm just gonna muck around now and do some of these walls. That'll hopefully make it look better. They're quite grubby there. It's, it's one of them things, it's like, hey, look at that house, look how beautiful it looks and look how grubby the walls are. So we might as well finish it off with that. And then I'll go and do that fence around the back as well. Because I did promise you guys, I've blue balled you all the way to the end of the video for that fence. So I'll do that in a moment. Guys, I've got 43 seconds left on my SD card before it fills up, so that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time, probably in a few days, for the next job. Nice one.